back to the crochet crowd. So it's my friends at yarnspirations.com. Today we have the star stitch. The star stitch is a really cool idea. It's based on the multiple of two. So no matter what length you want to do, your chain is always in multiples of two. So an even number. The one thing about this one here is if you look to the side, you see how it has a slight angle to it? That's not a camera thing, that's, a re that's the reality of this thing. So you're going to notice is that you'll have to block it later, so you'll damp it and then just lay it flat to dry to get it to straighten back out. It's because of the texture of the stitches that happens. It's a very nice, easy way to be able to do this kind of stitch work. And we actually have another pattern that's very similar to this. It's the five uh, star beanie, I think it's called. I'll put that link in the video description as well for you. So what we have, so let's get started. We're going to do a multiples of two. So no matter what size it is, just keep it as an even number. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So once you're happy with the width of your chain, you could lay it on something or determine how big you want it to go. And then you'll be ready to go for row number one. Let's begin. Row number one, you are going to start a second chain from the hook, so one and two, and you are going to go into the back hump of the chain because I think it's easier, but if you don't want to do that, that's fine. And just single crochet yourself all the way across for row number one. So put me on pause now and do that, and I'll see you at the end of number one in a moment. So you're gonna go all the way across, no matter how wide your chain is, and you're going to turn your work, and we're going to start doing the star stitch next. The star stitch takes two rows to do. To start this star stitch, you are going to chain three. So one, two, and three. I'm gonna to try to take my time here. We need to concentrate not on the first chain here, but the second, the third, the stitch where you came out of, and then the next two stitches. So let's begin. So come second chain from the hook and just going into that chain work Going in, yarn over, pull through, and leave it on your hook. Come into the next chain. So into the chain and pull through and leave that on your hook. You are going to come into the very first stitch of the row itself and going in, pull through, and leave it on there. So by the time you end up into the chain or into the stitch work of a row, there should just already be four loops there. Now you're going to advance two more. So just going into this row, going to the next stitch, pull through. And then coming into the next one here. And pull through. Once you can see that there's six loops on the hook, you're going to yarn over it and pull through all six. And to lock this into a circle, you're going to chain one. And there is the eye of your star stitch. Now the rest of the star stitches across the row are going to be different from how you started. So this is the beginning star stitch. Um, and then we're going to do the regular star stitch. To start the next one, you need to concentrate just like going down the chain, but there is no chain. So you're going to concentrate on the eye. You're going to go in between the posts. Okay, so you're going to go in between the posts here. You're going to go into the same stitch where that star is in, and then you're going to advance the next two. So let's go slowly. So into the eye. So go right directly into the center. Yarn over, pull through. You are going to place the hook between the two posts. Okay, so right here. Right directly through the back and yarn over, pull through. And then you are going to advance into the row, but it's the last star stitch where the leg is in. You're gonna go into the same stitch, pull through. And now you're ready to advance the next two. So you have four loops on there by the time you've gone down into the row. So yarn over, pull through. So you're advancing by two. You should see six loops on your hook. So you know you're done and you're gonna yarn over, pull through all six. And you're going to chain one to lock it into that star. So here's what I say in my brain, we'll go slowly. So I say the eye so go into the eye, go 
go between the posts. So I say post. And then we have to come down into the row where the last star stitch is that's sharing the same one. So I say share. And now I have four loops. And now I'm ready to advance two more empty ones. So I just go advance one, advance two. And I have six loops on my hook. So yarn over, pull through all six, and chain one to lock. So let's do it again. So I'll do my little memory hook. So I say I, post, share, advance one, advance two. And now I have six on there. Yarn over, pull through all six. Chain one to lock. So by the time you get all the way to the end, you're going to star right to the very end. So we're gonna do one more star, which will take it right to the end. So keep on going across, and then I'll show you how to finish in just a second. For those that are ready to finish, you are going to just come in here, and you're going to say the eye, the post, the share, and then advance one, advance two. It takes you right to the end. You have six on there, and you're gonna pull through all six. You are going to chain one to lock to form the formation, but in the very last stitch here, you need to put in a half double crochet to keep the balance. And you are going to notice that this uh, stitch will have a slant to it. So that's something, if you're seeing that, it's not you, it's the stitch work itself. So let's turn our work and begin another row. So another row is going to finish off the star stitch from behind. When you're looking at the star stitch from behind, it looks different than what it does in the front. So you always are going to start off the same way. Chain one to start. And in the very first half double crochet, you are going to apply a single. And then in the eye of the first star stitch, you are going to apply a single. That's the only time you're ever going to put one single crochet into the eye of one of those. Now you're going to notice is that there is eyes. And do you see these down pieces here? That gives you an indication that there's an eye in between the two. So there's an eye right here, an eye here, and here. And you can see that when you're holding it yourself. So go to your next eye and you are going to apply two single crochets into the eye. Look for the next one, it's right here. Okay, so you got two into that one and you're doing this all the way across. Look for the next eye. You can kind of see an open space that tells you where it is. Come into your next eye. And this happens to be the last eye of a row. So put me on pause if you're not there. And for those that are ready to keep on going, so you have your two into the last eye, but you have to single crochet into that chain that you started the first star stitch with to keep the balance. And let's turn our work and let's, let's see. So you see the eye looks more complete, or the star stitch looks more complete. So I'm gonna take you through two more rows and we'll be doing that next. So let's do another row. So this is technically row number four. So we chain up three. So one, two, three, and we work down the chain starting in the second one. So ignore this one, go to the second. And so you're gonna grab that one, pull through, grab the next one, it's still part of the chain, pull through, and then go into the first single crochet that's down on the row. And so there should be four loops by the time you got there. And now you're gonna advance the next two. So look for the tops of the single crochets. So you're advancing one and two, and you should have six loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all six. Chain one to lock to make the circle. And then you're going to start the star stitch as you already know it. So let's begin the little memory hook. So you say the eye, the post, 
share. And then you're going to advance the next two. So advance one and two. You should see six loops on the hook. Pull through all six. Chain one to lock and then make another one. So the eye, the post, share. And advance one and two. Six loops. So do you see why it was only chained uh, served multiples of two? Because technically the starch stitch is only two um, stitches wide. So chain one to lock and keep on going. So because you're working down and then across by two. It's like battle, the game of battleship, I suppose. So I, the post, share, advance one, advance two. Six loops, pull through, chain one, and you're gonna do your last one, so by the time you get there, so I, the post, share, advance one, advance two. Pull through, chain one to lock, and on the same last one here, you need to put in your half double crochet or you'll lose your sink, okay? So you're gonna turn your work and do the next row, which will complete the star stitch. And you can see it looks different again on the back. So in the back, just chain up one, start in the very first half double crochet and single, and look for the center of the first star stitch, which is right here. So that one is only gonna be one single crochet by itself. The rest of them will all be different. So that look for the middle, you can see the down pieces Hopefully on camera you can see that it's in between those so it helps you to see those so you'll place in two single crochets in each of those eyes of the stars. So you come right to the very last one and in the last one right here you are going to apply and a single crochet in the chain work itself that completed the first one and you can turn your work and now you can see there. So you can see that you're not losing the number of stars even though there's a slight slant on this side. Once you just kind of pull things back, it's the tension of the stitch that causes that. If you dampen it and just lay it flat to dry, it'll straighten out. So you're just gonna repeat those two rows to keep making your stars, but eventually you're going to be finishing this. So let's do your last row for balance. So for the last row, looking at the right side of the work, the front side, because you can tell the difference for sure, you're just gonna chain up one and apply one single crochet across to keep the balance of the project. And so what this will do is that it will make the first and the last row look like it, it belongs. So the stitch work of the star stitching is kind of resting in between. That's how you would finish that. Just like that. So you can see that you have a nice first row, you have a nice second row, and the star stitching will be in between. This is how you do the star stitch, and we hope you've enjoyed today. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.